I wanted to review G-Axis the day that they arrived in my absolutely disgusting greasy big mitts, but I also wanted to take a little bit of time with it. I wanted to see if my initial infatuation with the boy led purely from the surprise that they even exist, or was it actually a decent toy? I wanted to avoid sounding like all of you, you know? Oh, Hasbro, thank you so much for giving us the opportunity to give you our money. No, look, Hasbro makes stuff we all like, sure, but they're not your pal. We shouldn't be grateful that they've put out a character like G-Axis. We should be hounding them for even more obscure characters. Where's Giltor? Where's fucking Big Red? Gr grateful? Kiss my ass. So, I waited a few months, sat him on the shelf, took him down occasionally, and... Aye, Legacy Jaxus is fantastic. Being a character introduced in such a short-lived comic series, we haven't seen much in the way of Jaxus toys. Certainly not any that actually look like the character. So to see this realised so beautifully, with such style, is a treat on par with rubbing your bum against a Toblerone. I mean, that head is worth the price alone. Just a big, blocky, miserable bastard with a chin that refuses to quit. His viewfinder or shoulder sensor thing, you know, the wings... The cable detail on his shins, the wee ankle wings like Prince Namor Mackenzie, the savage submariner, Marvel's first mutant and avenging son. It's all just truly wonderful. Even at the back, the wings, that's it, it's just wings. He's so sleek and streamlined while retaining that intimidating stature that a good baddie should have. You can pop off the front of the sensor and attach it to the back of his gun if you like, but that'll come in handy later. In the meantime, you can put the entire sensor back into his cockpit, which is good because until you do, he can't dab. Overall, Jaxus is super poseable and tight joints mean he's a joy to mess around with. God, this is becoming a real love fest, isn't it? You get this rather poxy handgun and one Super Generation 2 style rifle, all cables and unnecessary greeblies all over it. Love it. Also, you can open up his hands a little. You know, I didn't notice that until I was shooting this video. Transforming Jaxus is fairly simple. You're really just folding the legs in, flipping the cockpit out, and then folding in the arms and wings. We end up with this Cybertronian jet mode, which really is exactly what all Cybertronian modes should be. It looks good, and it's easily recognisable as to what it does, while looking like something from another world. Unlike some toys. Gavin, you have to let Skullgrin go, man. Get over it. I, I know, you're right. He's just... He's just shite. I know, I know. You can plop his handgun on the side, although it doesn't really fit that well, and the red rifle goes on top, making it a little bit like the comics. Or you can slap both guns together and have them poke out the front, giving G-Axis a menacing silhouette like a vast, predatory bird. Still, if there's one thing I'm not 100% keen on, it's the placement of these arms underneath. Everything tabs together really securely, but I do wish they'd found a more elegant solution when whacking them underneath here. If it weren't for that, he'd be an all-timer. And, and you know what, actually, he might still be. Of course, as I said in my Hogmanay special, Coronation Starscream has been ousted from his throne to make way for G-Axis here. It's just a great fit, and the two pieces are now forever linked in my collection. I can't recommend G-Axis enough. Even if you don't know or like G2 that much, it's a great time. And also, if that is you, get a fucking grip of yourself. All right, bye.